guys, I am Chris Kaylor and I'm Amber Fasim Kujin and today we're back with two for Agatha all along. Mm. Uh, first season, episode two. Uh, so last episode we uh, joined Agatha in her little fantasy in Westview. Mm. She was living through a, an actual cop show where she was the main character. The uh, cop with the, the dead child, Nikki, and <laughs> you know, the, the unstable life at home. But mm. So she drowns herself in work and she was looking at a murder. There was a body found in the forest, body, body that turned out to be Wanda's. So RIP Scarlet Witch for sure after Multiverse mm. of Madness, uh, yeah. So I got that like she didn't know who she, who Wanda was, but she started like feeling weird about seeing the body and then finding her brooch yeah. in, uh, on, on the scene. And then uh, she had the uh, library card that led her to a burnt row of books that was the dark hole that's been destroyed. So there were mentions of stuff from Multiverse of Madness and it triggered her. There's a witch, I don't know her name yet, D did it say, they didn't say her name, but she's played okay. by Aubrey uh, Plaza. Yeah. And their relationship is special. They've known each other for a while, it yeah. looks like. And one wants to kill the other, mm -hmm. but then apparently it's not allowed to kill her. Yeah. So she follows the rules, that is true, except she has a grudge against Agatha. So Agatha was like, you want me at my full power, right? Mm -hmm. So let me regain my powers and then you can come back. Apparently there's also a the, Sa the Salem, Salem Seven. Seven who are looking for Agatha to, I'm guessing, punish her for what she did back in the day. Uh, there's also a mysterious kid who uh, was in Agatha's house. He's looking for the road and uh, we're about to talk to him and try and figure out what's going on with this guy. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty much where we are. Let's yeah. jump in episode two and see what happens next. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full length reactions. All right, let's go. Can you untie him? <laughs> Take me to the witch's road. You know about the witch's road? Tell us what it is. Please. <laughs> the witch's road doesn't exist. You're lying. You wouldn't react like this if it wasn't true. The road will give you the thing you want the most if you make it to the end. And I can. I will. So it's a challenge then, okay. <laughs> the road is no place for a kid. She considered it. It will kill you. Didn't kill you. Well, I'm exceptional. That you are. <laughs> the look. I've been obsessed since I first showed up in your Salem days. One of my favorite you eras. That's a good one. <laughs> when I killed my coven. <laughs> if you've got the goods to break a spell cast by the Scarlet Witch, why do you need the road? I've studied, don't get me wrong, but that can only take you so far. Oh, so mm. you're on a shortcut. The road promises that what's missing awaits you at its end. Power is what I'm missing. If he is Billy Maximoff, I never expected this from him. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he wouldn't be the same as the no. one we know. Too risky, no time. I think she likes a guy with yeah. ambition. <laughs> She'd be the same, she, she was the she, same. She was the same, yeah. She Maybe she did have a kid. Could Nikki? be like Nikki's hair. Who are you? My name is... <laughs> We don't know his name. It's an M. Interesting. For Max, for Max, you said it was an M. Yeah. For Maximoff. I think like in we see this in the the trailer. That's why a lot of people think it's Billy. Okay. Oh it looks like it could be Nikki, <laughs> but then again, it's a it's a different universe. So I don't know how things could go. This is. <laughs> You're driving. She's not completely out of the illusion. Mm. <laughs> like her style, though. Mm. What do you know about covens? Oh my god, are you taking me to meet your coven? No, those harpies are dust. <laughs> we do need a coven to access the road. If you know her, you should know she killed her coven. <laughs> Evil witch. Hey! You were gonna do the same to her! <laughs> I want to defend Wanda, even though I do agree she was the villain in the end. I mean, she did go tainted by the dark, yeah, by the the dark, dark hole. hole. And even before that, in Westview, she was a broken person. Where do we just find a coven? Create one. Wherever you are, a coven there shall be. Within any three mile radius, 
there will be a collection of witchy enough people to form a coven. Mm. So we go. We we're gonna <laughs> form our for own me. then. He's such a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> she's like she looks drunk or like hungover. Uh, yes, yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh god, and she's bitter. Do you want me to take that? No, it's it's. Stop. What? Here. Now. She already knows where they are. Like, see if she needs a secret handshake. I feel really optimistic about this. Welcome to the curious. Oh, those who pretend to be witches, mm. you just go straight for them? We are hoping for a miracle today. Find a witch. This is my boy, Buford. Oh, he doesn't talk much. <laughs> His daddy recently passed, and we surely would love to commune with him today. What is top of mind is the location of some gold bars he may or may not have buried in our backyard. She was made to play multiple characters in a TV mm. show. How will you be paying? Oh. Works. He's gonna start regretting teaming up with her. <laughs> I mean, you never should meet your idols in real life. <laughs> I mean, she could be a real witch pretending just to, you know, give a show. You've been under the influence of another. Ah. Uh, Someone you hurt. It's not the first time your witch can betray you, but you survive. To be fair, she betrays them too. That's why you're here. And I am not interested. Wait, what? Thank you for your purchase. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's loving it. What witch in her right mind would join Agatha Harkness's coven? <gasps> not looking for <laughs> right-minded witches. Don't you miss the glory days? I do not. Beat it, Harkness. I'm gonna walk the road. So we're gonna just scatter a bunch of washed-up witches <laughs> who had seen better days. Yeah. And, and we're gonna tempt them. Who means the golden days of, of uh, witches? Like, do you aspire to more? I'm gonna give it to you. So let's go. I would still not trust her. Agne, uh, Agatha? But they're gonna need, like, they need the wish at the mm. end. Join me. Us. <laughs> I love him. He's out of place. <laughs> <laughs> For now, give him time. No, I love place. him because he doesn't fit. Yeah, okay. He's a fanboy and it's perfect. Mm. What is happening? Three of Pentacles. A list of four names. Looks like you've got your coven. Mm. You're on here. What? I didn't notice. Can't say no to you. I got his address. Be there at five. He's new to this, but I feel like he's gonna become great. Oh, the... Maybe the, the, a sign that the coven is coming, like the Salem Seven? Salem Seven, yeah. Like a dark woman. Well, she said they would be there by nightfall, right? Mm-hmm. What? Who's next on the list? Hey, <laughs> where do you keep your jade eggs? I don't really like your style. <laughs> Actually, you guys want to go split? They them? all hate her. Hmm? Anyone? With reason. Did you heard of the traveling kegel? No? <laughs> no? God, Agatha. How are you? Awful. Hope so. I need a coven. I need a potions guy. We're going to walk the road. It's a dead end. Well, she did it first. Hmm? She did it back in the mm -hmm. day. I'm offering you the chance to finally lift the binding spell that has kept you magicless for the last, what, century? What do you care about my magic? I... Mm. She needs you. That's why she cares. Hmm. Like I care about that dusty, warty, snaggletooth community. You'd chew off your own acrylics to get back into the club. I'm not gonna waste my breath illuminating the obvious. Have fun healing the healthy. Hi, uh, I love your Insta page, by the way. <laughs> Who is this? A fan. Another child sacrifice? I'm really sorry about your recent legal troubles. He's good. good. She made a face when she said a child sacrifice. Did she like Did kill, she Mickey? kill Mickey? <laughs> Wait, so you're magically bound and you're about to get literally bound. Oh, None oh of this pedestrian God. drama would be an issue for a powered up witch. He's pushing your buttons <laughs> like a master. She loves him. Yeah, I mean, he got the attitude. He is a fan of Agatha. He could be her kid at this point. They are so similar with the attitude. You'll know where to find it. I mean, he is slowly becoming a, her apprentice. Uh, Two to go. Uh, just one, actually. What? Lilia said four names. Yo, let me see, let me see. What are you? Who's the last one? You? Very mature. Come on, team. Well, him being, well, it's a sisterhood, so can he truly be a part of the coven? He can come with them. I don't think he can be a part of the coven. Could be the, the girl who tried to kill her. Do you know what she looks like? Maybe. 
She's a blood witch. Her mom was a witch. And also a famous goddess of rock. As in Lorna Wu and the Coral Shore. Take it easy. She wrote the most famous version of the ballad. Set and signs again. Let's go. You're in a hurry. Yeah. She needs to get on the road before they get her. What are we doing here? Hmm. Run. Run. Run! He's good. Alice Wu Gulliver, I'm Agatha Harkness. This is my familiar Toto. <laughs> we need a protection witch to join us on the witch's road. What do you say? Gulliver! Oh! Did you just tackle a teenager? Yeah, I saw them lift something. Oh, he didn't do anything, sir. Manipulating master. <laughs> You're fired. What divine intervention is this? You're out of a job, and we're so. Whose fault is that? Today. The road isn't real. Agatha's been there. I'm back. What if you could finally answer the question that has been haunting you for most of your life? What happened to mommy? Mm -hmm. I think she got her. Mm -hmm. I think she got her. She knows how to push buttons, so yeah. She is good. And he's learning really fast, so they're both good. We don't need her. Come on. I think you do. I think she'll show up. Mm -hmm. Oh, she looks fabulous. More modern look for her costume. Reverse purple. Mm -hmm. Third animal. <laughs> Everything needs to have flair. Let's go. Oh my god. You're so precious. Uh, you're a child and I love this. Leave it up. It really elevates the space. Can I interest you? Oh my goodness. In a really? <laughs> I don't mind a lapsed expiration date. You're bound. And you need a chemical peel. <laughs> <laughs> Your front door is missing. Alice, how did you- I'm an ex-cop. Oh, God. I answer to a lot of questions. That's scary. <laughs> Where's our green witch? Right here. Oh, do we really need one of those? Of course we do. I'm guessing the green witch is a, a newbie? Green meaning she works with plants. Oh, okay. There was one more name on the coven list. It wasn't a name. It was a heart. A black heart. That's because you used a black pen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go get her. Or she'll get someone else, not the person in the... Oh, well, you did say you thought that Rio and her had a relationship. I mean, they, they were flirting with each other, so I'm guessing maybe there's something, but it was Well, a black me. heart could be a dead heart. Oh, maybe. As in dead relationship. Yes. I knew she was in there, because I saw her. She's a gardener, so she's, she'll do. <laughs> but if it's not supposed to be her, that's gonna lead to disaster. So, I was just wondering if you'd like to come to a little party I'm having tonight. <gasps> really? And she's yeah. fucking using her like this when she could die? Mm. Are we doing laundry together? Why don't you head upstairs and let us just do our thing, okay? Wait, you'll let me know yep, when- Yep, yep, I'll scoop. scoop. I would think they would leave you here, so stick around. All aboard? Double trouble, double trouble. <laughs> Cool way to open a door. Am I supposed to know this? <laughs> down, down, nah. down the road, down the witch's road. They never practice and they harmonize like crazy. Down, They're witches. Down, it's in their blood. Down, it's cool. Bees are nest. I'd go back I in. Stray not from the whole death's hand in mine. They're here. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing the Green Reaper too. If sun be gone, oh, it's it's Go inside. Oh, hell no. <laughs> down, down, down the road. Oh, down shit. The witches, down the witches. Oh, fucking hell, they are creepy. Down, I want to do the, the face may makeup. Witches, yeah. Down, I love that they're walking like this. <laughs> I have to scully. <laughs> She's just going along. <laughs> Dude, there's no door. The door is open. I'm actually loving this. I think they can get in if they want, kid. It's a cool performance.
it did not take this long last time. She wasn't so pitchy. Says the voice flatter than a pen. <laughs> yes, did you not hear you? Because the voice doesn't. You are all great. So yes. Yes. You I have perfect perfect taste. Taste. Well, are you? Maybe it's not working because you all hate each other and you're supposed to be a coven. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe it's because you don't have the actual green witch. The green witch? <laughs> for, for, uh, her power? What's going on up there? Are there any real witches in the house? Because all I see are has beens and could have beens. You recruited us. But a team of rejects. Coward. I'd say you should burn like the rest of them, but that would be a waste of kidding. Enough! Hey. You need to shut up! She's forcing them to blast her. She wants us to attack her. Mm. What? You had no intention of bringing us on the road. It's not my fault. Only a true coven can open the door. Blast me, you bitches! <laughs> what is that? Ah, uh, the door is opening? Yep. yep. Get downstairs! Get downstairs! <laughs> Here, because <laughs> we should really, really go like right now. <laughs> no, thank you. Holy shit! <laughs> those are not witches. Those are demons. Uh, they are very creepy. It's giving me like a creepy Wizard of Oz <laughs> feel. <laughs> I love that she's just with them. She yeah, doesn't no. belong, but she's just uh, she doesn't going know. with it. She doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> I never doubted us for a second. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It will, it will be funny if at the end she becomes a true green witch. We'll see. Okay, so how cool was that scene with the song and the attack? <laughs> I love that they're going creepy with the Salem 7, mm -hmm. right? Just the, the whole like stop motion kind of, uh, of effect where like it's not full movements. It's just like we see only parts of, of them mm -hmm. walking around. It's, it's creepy as shit. Have they been cursed by Agatha in the past? Because they look like they've been all cursed by something. I mean, they are ancient beings, I don't know, they've been kind of like the, the witch's cop, right? Like the cop, the, the police force of the witches. <laughs> they, they, I don't know, it's kind of like they are higher beings, so maybe that's why they don't truly belong to our world. Maybe they are entities. They represent, like, they are animals that, that kind of show up and warn of their arrival. So, like, I don't know if they are witches and, and they just look like that or if they are above... Because if people are afraid, if Agatha is afraid, she has no power. I, it looks like she thinks that as soon as she gets to the end of the Witch's Road and she gets her power back, she'll be capable of fighting these people. Mm -hmm. But she's still afraid. Like Agatha, who's like willing to take it on and she's like, blast me with your powers because I can just suck it all up. She's afraid of these, these, okay. these seven witches, right? Mm -hmm. So, but they are creepy. That is for sure. <laughs> and uh, I love when they go creepy. The whole mix of them attacking the house or getting close to the house with the boy, we'll call him boy, man, because <laughs> uh, trying to, you know, close the doors and close the windows and them singing the song was really, really good. Mm -hmm. The song is cool, too. I'd be learning that. I'd be singing that. That'd be fun. Yeah. I was just thinking that, man, if we just needed to sing a song to open a door, we would have, have a thousand doors in our apartment right now. <laughs> we do that a lot, yeah. But they were harmonizing and stuff, and it was great. Uh, I love Sharon, that's her name? Sharon. Sharon, yeah. the green witch uh, of this coven, who's definitely there to replace someone else. And considering her reaction, I'm guessing it could be, uh, well, Rio. Rio. Because she's the only one around mm -hmm. that, you know, we know they have a history and you've been seeing And the fact that she has a, a black heart, okay, yeah, past lover, definitely. Maybe. Definitely. But, like, poor Sharon, who's, like, I mean, it could be a surprise that she turns out, it turns out she's a witch or turns out she has some stuff. I mean, but she could maybe not be a witch, but she know plants and biology from what I've seen, so maybe she could become a true green witch at the end. If they have trials to face, maybe she'll she'll be a surprise. Like maybe she'll manage. She knows plants. Yeah. She's a good she's good with her garden. But it still doesn't mean and to be fair though, it doesn't mean she can't do the job because like you obviously don't need power. 
to do that because mm -hmm. Agatha wouldn't be able to do it. And uh, I forgot her name. I, I forgot all their names. Like, I'm sorry. Lilia and Jen. Jen? Yeah. Okay, so Jen. Lilia is the old one for, uh, who is like uh, 450 years old. And you got Alice. Alice. Okay, who? I will have... You'll, you'll have to give me time to remember. But, okay, so Jen is the post... Portion I know, wish. is also the one who uh, was blocked, right? Yeah, so she doesn't have access. Bound, yeah. She doesn't have access to her magic either, but she can do potions. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Like She can still do something if we ever come up. I don't know if there, it's going to be trials, but she'll be able to do stuff. Agatha, she has her knowledge, mm -hmm. but when it comes to using magic, she won't be able to do anything. So in that way, Sharon is, o is okay. I mean, like I said, she knows plants. And yeah, they will have access to power and and whatever they want at the end of the of the road if they get there. So, if she comes out of this and she's a witch, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> but poor, I hope nothing happens to her because she did get in there yeah. not knowing what this was about. She just got invited to a party with gals. But yeah, I guess that poor was girl. definitely like she she reached for the the you know for a replacement so quick. She really did not want whoever that Blackheart represented, which yeah, I'm thinking is Rio. So that means I need to learn about their history. I need to learn why and what happened there. To be fair, if it is her and she represented the, the, the heart, then last time we saw her, they attacked and everything. And I mean, she did say she was, you know, she liked the idea of Agatha getting her powers back because that's how she wanted to face her. So mm -hmm. she could have gone on the road with the intention of helping her get her power back because it leads to oh, that chance. But, but what happened back then with Agatha? Because she had to kill, what, I mean, she killed her old coven, right? Yeah. Do you think that she uh, had yet only one which uh, which could have the power that she had to kill everyone else? No. Her power is to, she can. Her, one, one thing that she can do with her powers is suck up the powers of others. Mm -hmm. the co her coven turned on her back in the day because she was using dark magic. Okay, true, yeah. They tried Sorry, to I kill forgot. her, so they blasted her. And she, well, I mean, she kind of goaded them. They blasted her, but they didn't know she could get her powers. So she sucked, she sucked up all their power and it left them in, in ashes. True. But maybe there's a reason why, uh, beside the fact that she has a... Uh, rock and roll relationship with Rio. If, for example, I don't know what's gonna happen, but if you only one can have the wish at the end, like do you remember, but uh, the uh, the last. Well, her wishes? coven was really her coven was really strong, and you have to do it as a coven, and they made it out. So and they were all powerful. Like she wasn't necessarily the most powerful, but uh, then okay. after that she started. She wanted more okay. power, which is why I think she likes uh, the boy. Yeah. Uh, at first she was interested in him because I feel like he, he reminded her of her, mm -hmm. right? With his talk of like wanting more power, just he wanted basically like I I am not surprised. You live in the world where the Avengers exist, <laughs> and you see like superheroes yeah. and witches and aliens. On, on TV all the time. Mm -hmm. You know about sorcery, you know about magic, you would want to be able to do that too, right? I would want to be able to do that too. You'll be fascinated he got, by it. Well, yeah. yeah. He's fascinated with Agatha, which, I mean, she's one of the worst considering she steals other people's magic and she's done some horrible things in the past. So you could have a better role model. <laughs> but then again, yeah. we don't know if he's connected to her. The big rumor, like the big theory from people online, when we saw the trailer and the M appeared, everyone was saying it's Billy Maximoff or it's supposed to be Billy because he's supposed to inherit his mother's witch's power. But then Wanda in this universe doesn't have a kid, so it could be another version of him. He said he was born in Eastview, so it's close by. Is The age is accurate, but then again, there's also the whole like, Nikki stuff and the fact that Agatha has a, a bit of hair in her locket mm -hmm. and you know mentions of like another child sacrifice so I'm guessing she had a kid or she she had it maybe not her child her biological child but maybe she took care of a child mm -hmm. and that child ended up dying like I don't know but it looks like there's history there yeah. and he could be linked to that too so either Billy or a version of Billy or this but uh, he is a fanboy through and through, and I love this. It's kind of giving me like a dark Peter Parker like fanboy vibe yeah. of him just being in awe of everyone that's around him. Like, oh, you're witches! Oh my god, I love this. 
And he knows his shit. Like, he's, he's pre he prepared for this. He's got the attitude. He fits mm -hmm. really well with Agatha. Like, at first, she was just, like, pushing him away and using him as a chauffeur, calling him her pet or, like, her familiar Toto, like, clink, 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 at mm -hmm. uh, uh, Wizard of Oz, right? Yeah. But uh, the more I, we go into this, it's kind of like, like she looked at him at the end and she smiled. Like Kids, it's, you got the right attitude. You got the right sassness. And not just that, yeah. but like <laughs> when she tried to convince those other witches to join her and it didn't work, she was just leaving and he'd stay behind he and find the way to push them. He's intelligent. He's, he's got guts. Mm -hmm. And even though like he is new to this and he like, they are hundreds of years old. Right? Like, they have experience. He is a kid. He doesn't know anything about this. So that's why I was saying he's, he looks misplaced. He's adapting <laughs> so well. Yeah, he, he does. And his humor kind of fits well with Agatha's. Because his is like... It's a, it's a funny, a bit childish humor, but there's darkness in it. And Agatha's very sarcastic. And, mm -hmm. and she's a manipulator. So they fit well together. And they play off of each other really well. But... Uh, yeah, uh, when she, um, we can clarify that, that in the comments, but when she was fighting Rio and they were saying stuff like, oh, uh, won't you blast me with your power? And she was saying like, no, I won't do that because uh, you'll just absorb it. And she said, you know, if I do that, I'll die. And then later on in this episode, she was like trying to force the others to blast her so she could get their power and fight back against the, the Salem Seven. I mean, so their power won't kill her, but somehow Rio's will. Depends. She did say that you, uh, it's not allowed for you to kill me, so maybe they cannot kill each other or something. Maybe maybe, maybe they made a. She can uh, kill witches, just not this one. So there's something there that makes her different, and somehow her magic. Like if she, maybe they made, they did a pact. Like if they were lovers, maybe they they did something like mm -hmm. kind of like a marriage bond or something. Like I don't maybe, know. Maybe that's why you cannot kill each other. Yeah, maybe. And maybe that's why, because like, she can't steal her power either, because that would kill her as well. Mm -hmm. Huh. In any case, we really need... I mean, she's not with them on the road, so I don't but really I'm just... know. I expected her to follow them, like to be with them. Yeah, but there. I'm just wondering why she said, no, I'm going to take another one for that position, not Rio. Is it because of the backstory? Because well, we assume it's Rio. Else. If it is her, well, obviously they have like bad blood between each other, because like they fought last episode. So I can understand, like, just from that, I could see why you mm -hmm. don't want her in the coven. There's history there, and I'm excited mm -hmm. to see what it is. I don't know, like, I mean, the other witches also know about her a little bit. They know her I mean, story. Agatha is the only one who went on the witches' road before and came back. So she knows what to expect and yeah, what's at not, the end of it. That's not what I was saying. I was saying those other witches know Agatha and her story, so they yeah. could teach us or tell the kid. Because, I mean, the kid is such an awe. He's mm -hmm. in awe of Agatha, and he follows her. But blindly, it but it doesn't know all the details. Maybe right? not. So they could be like, dude, like you follow her around, you don't know the truth. Like, let me tell you something. And they could teach us about her past a lot more. She could have flashbacks, but then like that's how like, I don't know if Rio is the one that is the black heart. She's not on the road, so how will she be mixed into this? I don't know. Mm. And we still need to figure out what the road is gonna be. Trials, tests. It's gonna be trials and tests for sure. Just like a road where you get attacked. Kind of like Wizard of Oz. I mean, I think it's to make sure that they are worthy of the witch at of the wish at the end, prob probably. Well, they need to be worthy for sure, uh, and they need at least a coven. So, so a one witch for 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 each for each part of being a witch, like potions, you know green what? stuff. Like reminds me of an old episode of um, Sabrina the Apprentice uh, Witch, Teenage Witch, <laughs> Teenage Witch. Sorry, the an animated version. And she went to magic school basically in Shadow Friend and she did trials like this to become a to become a true witch at the end. You just smacked him in the head. <laughs> Sorry. At the end of it she changed her mind and she decided to stay a half blood at the end of it. So yeah, I'm gonna Oh my god, that's old. I know it's old. But I'm expecting lots of trial challenges to just prove that they are true witch uh, witches and they're worthy of that. That they wish. deserve, yeah. yeah. We'll see, but so far, favorite scene, down, down, down the road. <laughs> it was yeah. a good song. The whole scene was just well played. 
The, the song is like eerie and mysterious. And, and you go to Sharon, just uh, hoping on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I do not know the words, but I'm just having fun. <laughs> She's gonna be comedic relief for sure, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be interesting. And um, I guess it sends the message that basically anyone could be could turn could be a witch in the end if she makes it. If she makes it, let's hope she doesn't. I'm die. sure she will. But uh, I mean, I'm expe expect her to be badass with plants and stuff. I wonder if the the uh, Salem Seven can get on the road and track them there as well. <laughs> Do you expect they, them to sing a song? <laughs> no, but they are so creepy. It'd be interesting <laughs> if, like, we are on not 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 only are we on the road, but we're also in the hurry to get to the end because like there's uh, okay, stuff okay, okay. behind us. That'd be putting us like even more in danger. So I don't really know. It kind of felt like as soon as we're on the road, we're safe because the door closed and everything. But oh. they are so they are so powerful and so ancient. Maybe they can get on the road themselves and follow. Unless the road only open for coven by coven. So if another coven tries to open, the door is going to be on the other road. Maybe. Well, who knows? I don't know. We'll see. In any case. That's gonna be it for episode two. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. We're gonna go take care of him. Yeah. He's you're, needy. You're drooling, baby. You're drooling. I don't know why he wants food. He just yeah. ate. <laughs> in any case, thank you for watching this with us. If you want to see the full length reaction to this episode, it is on our Patreon. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if you do not, the next one shall be on YouTube next week. <laughs> so we're gonna see you then, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.